Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install iGame on your Amiga Workbench setup. So there's a couple of things that we need to do first. I recommend that you have a Workbench setup that is at the stage of booting up Workbench and having a collection of games. I'm at the stage where I've got Amiga Workbench 3.1, better Workbench 4.3 installed as well and of course I have WHD load installed as well so I'm at a stage at the moment where I can go into a, a game double click on the icon and I can load up the game you need to be at this stage first before you continue with this video I recommend that you check out parts 1 2 and 3 of my win UAE guide so we want to install iGame so we need a couple of things first I'm just going to open up my configuration that I've got. I've got a standard A1200 with uh, some extra memory and I've spe speeded it up a bit so that it's nice and fast as much as possible. Now there is one setting in here that I haven't changed yet. I want you to see an error message. The error message is not very clear on what the problem is but I will show you in a bit on this page what you need to change and then hard drives I've got my better workbench installation on DH0 I've got my Amiga games in DH1 and then I've got a PCO drive and that's going to a directory uh, and that's going to this directory here now in here we've got a mixture of things we've got directory opus this is optional you don't really need this but it is a convenient program to have the essentials that you do need though are iGame 2.1 beta 2 you need MCC GUI GFX library and you need the MCC text editor library as well and iGame is based upon the MUI which is the magic user interface uh, set of libraries so uh, we're going to be installing all of these my game will then install last and then we'll have a nice setup so make sure that you've downloaded all of these i'll leave links in the description now with all of these files in your pc drive it is very tempting to just select all of these go to 7-zip and extract them in windows do not do this i have found that if you use 7-zip things go wrong and it is best to have workbench extract these files and let's get started so under uh, pc show all my files i'm going to start off with directory opus let's extract that i'm going to extract that to the ram directory so lha x and then we're going to go to uh, RAM. There we go, that's done. RAM disk, directory opus. Let's go to install. Novice is fine because that will just put it directly into the system folder. So if I go into system, should now find a directory opus folder. Brilliant, that's done. Next uh, is going to be MUI38 user. So let's get that. LHA X. And then I'm going to extract it to RAM. I can't type today. RAM, there we go. Excellent. So we're going to RAM disk, MUI, go to install MUI, intermediate that's fine that's fine proceed then for some reason it defaults to my games directory I don't want it to go there so we go to show drives I'm just gonna put it in system it's fine to just put it in system because it's going to create an MUI folder automatically so go proceed wait for it to do all those you can tick all those options that's fine English and then the example programs I don't need those so I click on no Okay, that's MUI installed. 
we're going to do these two libraries. So uh, the first one I'm going to do is the GUI GFX library. I'm going to extract those to my RAM disk again. Go to RAM disk and then there's a folder in there. Okay, we're not going to do anything with it at the moment because we're going to use directory opus. I'm going to extract the text editor one as well. LHAX and go into RAM. Excellent. We'll leave this one to last, the I game. Don't worry about that yet. So let's go into system, go to directory opus, open up directory opus. So I'm going to have RAM on the left hand side here. Click in the bar at the top to go to the right hand side. Then I'm going to go to DH0. I'm then going to go into the MUI folder, go into libs. And then what we need to do first is go on the left hand side, MCC. G U I G F X. Go into the libs folder of that. You'll see two library files here. This needs to live in this directory, the MUI libs folder on the right here. So we'll do copy. Those two libraries are copied. Now we need to browse into the MUI folder here on the right hand side. And then we need to go into the MUI folder here on the left. So we're basically mirroring it. So we need to select GUI GFX.MCC. That then needs to go into this folder. As you'll notice in this folder, there's loads of MCC files. So this kind of matches, yeah? So MCC, MCC, there we go. So let's copy that across. Excellent. Then let's go back to our RAM disk, text editor, go to libs, MUI, we're using Amiga OS 3, and then we've got texteditor.mcc and texteditor.mcp. Select both of those, then choose copy. Remember, you're still within that libs MUI folder. So we copy that across, there we go, that's done. So we can quit out of directory opus now. We're doing really well at the moment. And now the last bit we need to do is to extract iGame. So for iGame, I'm going to put that into LHAX and then rather than RAM disk, I'm just gonna type system. So whatever your workbench installation is called. In my case, it's called system. You need to just mirror that. If, if you've called the um, workbench installation just workbench, you need to type workbench here, okay? So we'll wait for that to extract. Brilliant, okay. Now, you'll see that we've got our iGame folder within the system uh, directory. So what we need to do now is do a reboot so we've transferred all those libraries we've transferred iGame into a folder now we need to reboot the Amiga so I'm going to do uh, control windows and windows and I've just rebooted the Amiga now if I go into system go into iGame and then we've got the iGame icon just there now I'm going to double click on this and it's going to fail with an error message. If I double click, it comes up with this error message that's eight zero 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 six zeros basically and ending in a B. Okay, so we'll suspend it for the moment now and it will completely lock up the Amiga. Now, what is causing this? Now, remember back in the beginning of the video, I said that there was a configuration that's slightly wrong in my setup and I'll show you what that is now. I wanted to show you that error message just in case you go through all of this and find that error message. iGame requires an FPU, okay? So if you see that error message, it means that you've got FPU set to none. Click on 68881 or 6882, it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, I'm just going to choose the one for uh, this example. And then you need to restart the Amiga. So the Amiga now has a CPU and an FPU as well, floating point unit. And if we go into system now and iGame, double click on iGame, there we go. We have iGame installed. Now we need to actually configure this. So let me expand the window out a little bit so we can see. At the moment, we've got no games in our list at all. This We need to configure it. So remember that I've got all my games here in this games uh, hard drive here. So with iGame loaded up, I right click, go to settings, go to game repositories, then click on the little folder icon, go to volumes, go to games, and that's as far as I want to go, just games, and then click OK. Then I click the add, and it adds it to this list here. Click on close. Then I go to right click at the top again, and then actions, scan repositories. I've not got that many games in here, but there we go. Look, nine games have been found, and here are all of my games. Now, in order to load up a game, all I just need to do is double click on it and it will load it up. F10 to quit, there we go. So that is iGame set up. Now you may have seen in other videos some nice fancy screenshots over here. Now by default it doesn't come with any screenshots at all. But what you need to do in your setup in each game in each game folder, there needs to be an iGame.iff image placed within each game. That If you've got hundreds and hundreds of games, that's going to be quite time consuming, finding a screenshot and placing it in each folder. Now, thankfully, some people on the internet have been really good to us and helped us by making some packs. So um, I'll leave a link to this on Aminet and basically you're looking for iGame EAB and if you download this pack you'll find that in the structure of it all and everything you'll see a, like a screen size and then you'll see a folder so you've got like the A's you've got uh, the B's and the, and then you've got a folder with the game and within there you've got iGame.iff so that's an added little extra bonus. But yeah, that's basically how to set up iGame. I hope that this has helped you. Um, personally for me, iGame has been difficult to install. So this has taken quite some time for me to make this video. And I hope that this video has helped you out. Um, if not, please go to the Amiga forums. There are people out there that will help you. And I will try and help you in the comments as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.